Hi you guys, it's me, St. Ma. I am here. And today we're gonna do a reaction from Adam Calhoun and it's called Racism. Um, it's the official music video. You guys make sure you like and share and subscribe, okay? Comment down below, hit the bell. We will put a link in the description box of this official music video and we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're still going to go ahead and get started. Hillbilly. Fragile. Nigga. White trash. Fuck you, nigga. What the fuck you rapping for? Crack a ass, crack it, got your rubber flag with your camel hat backwards. Stains on your shirt with your fucked up teeth. Piece of shit truck broke down middle of the street. Old lady bitching in the passenger seat Smoking like a chimney, kids in the back can't breathe Got a kid on her lap, smack his ass if he speaks Always wearing white beaters cause her ass getting beat Okay, that's white trash, but what about a hillbilly? Redneck motherfucker, never even near a city Out in the woods, hunting deeper than the wolves Get that big old buck, bring them home, eat until they fall Or they out in the shed, on the side drinking shine Old lady bitching, better bring your ass aside It's way past nine, you been drinking all night Gotta get to work on time, up before the sunrise Call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash. Nigga ass, nigga got your sagging pants with your ass hanging out the back, hanging out in front of liquor stores selling crack, just so you could put some 24s on your Cadillac. Baby mama bitchin', you ain't taking care of business. All you do is smoke weed, run around with other bitches, and you can't keep a job cause you in and out of prison. Guess it must be Trump's fault cause you making bad decisions. That's about niggas, but what about black folk? Raise their kids right every night, mom and dad are home. Hunting for a job, not crying about a privilege. Crying out the God, stop the violence where we live in. Fuck it though, you a nigga, and I'm just a cracker. They pin us against each other, sit back and they watch it happen. In the hood, they selling cracking, killing over shoes and jackets. In the trailer park, they fall apart, a bunch of mad. Call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Man, when <laughs> when I think of Adam, I think about the very, very first reaction I did of his, and um, it was totally um, the different a different Adam than what I see today. Um, I have grown to have a utmost respect for Adam and his music, and and and. Obviously, his message as well, because I'm rocking with this song, Racism. So, let's just, uh, let's just state the facts first, right? So, you got Racism, which is the name of this song. And Racism basically is directed against um, someone of a different race, and it's based up off of a belief, Okay. And then you got, because I also noticed in the song, he's talking about, you know, he's really stereotyping a lot of different things. So you got stereotype, which is a belief um, about a particular category um, of a person. So the one thing that stereotype and racism have in common is a belief. And when you break that down, you got an opinion. Um, an opinion is just like an asshole. Everybody has one and everybody is entitled to it. But let's get away from that. Let's get away from being stereotypical. Let's get away, away from racism. Let's start having a mind of, of our own. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's like everybody is not the same. Just because 
You heard on the news that a man wearing saggy pants and a hoodie robbed the corner store. It does not mean that every man that has on saggy pants and wearing a hoodie is going to rob a liquor store. Just because you hear that um, on the internet, you hear about a man in a dirty t-shirt and ripped up jeans left his kids in the car, you know, overnight and they died. Does it mean that every man you come across with a dingy shirt and ripped up jeans is going to do that to their children? There are a lot of hardworking men and women of all race and size out there that are doing the damn their damnness to make sure that they give back to their community, that they raise their kids up right. I mean... And then you got people out there that wants to be in this small-minded group and, and want to rock off with this belief. And it's not cool. It's not cool at all. People stereotype say, my, I've been stereotyped practically damn near all my life because I had a child before I even graduated high school. No, I wasn't one of those fast little girls in school, but hey, shit happened, right? Right. I was said to never graduate. I was said that I would never amount to anything. And I was said that my, my son, which is Yeti, the one that I had when I was in school, would also not accomplish to anything, amount to anything because he grew up with strikes already against him. He was a black male. He was black. He was a male. And he was born into a world with a teenage mom. So we was, we was already marked off from the beginning. They just, just just pick our asses up and throw us away. No. me, I am so far in life and accomplished in life, it doesn't make any fucking sense. And I'm not even 40 yet. My son, who ain't even 25 yet, has broken so many barriers that the average 25-year-old wouldn't even understand. And I'm just thankful. I'm thankful that we are not small-minded. I'm thankful that I did not raise my children to be... Uh, racist or to to really you know be in this small little box and it's so sad but i love the song i love the video and i love adam and i love this message you guys if you guys need to look back over the video again or listen to the song again please feel free we it's going to be in the description box just click on it and watch it for yourself this message is broad um i did notice that he used the word nigga in his video more than once and i still have nothing but respect for adam because it doesn't even matter it's just a word let's 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 stop making a big deal about the stupid stuff the simple things you understand what i'm saying because shit Adam, my nigga, and I'm his nigga. It is what it is. It's just, it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. Wonderful message. And until next time, you guys, let's try to be mindful of each other, you know. And let's start looking at people as individuals and not placing them in one big-ass category, okay? Stay up, stay blessed, and stay cool. Don't think shit sweet cause you see money This shit get ugly My shooters with me being I'm dummy My niggas love me We're dropping up like we was clowns